Hey there, it's Amelia. And in this video, I'm going to discuss the table of contents in eBooks, whether they are clickable or not clickable and why. I'm currently on my laptop using the Kindle app. And I do want to mention that you could read eBooks on Kindle devices, but you can also easily read your eBooks on your laptop or your mobile devices. The way you would download the Kindle app is to go over to Amazon and once you're logged into Amazon, assuming you have an Amazon account, just search for Kindle app for download in the search box and you're going to find options for the free download Kindle for PC or Kindle for Mac. Once you download the app, you'll be able to access all your ebooks that you purchased in the Kindle library on your computer device. So I'm going to pull up a couple examples of different types of books and we'll take a look at the table of contents. So first I'm going to open up, this is one of my author journey books. And the reason I'm opening this one is because I have a clickable table of contents and I want to show you how I did it, which I'll explain how I created it and an alternative to the table of contents. Now, if you've opened the book before, you probably have seen this message pop up, especially if you opened it on a different device. Sometimes it will prompt you and want to know if you want to go to another page. So right now I'm sitting on the table of contents and I set up this book in Microsoft Word. And in Microsoft Word, it's easy to set up a table of contents. Now there is an automatic table of contents in Word that you can generate, providing you use the header styles, H1, H2, up to four, for example. However, sometimes with the automatic table of contents, they may not be clickable in the end. The other alternative be to create your table of contents as text and then link them using the hyperlink go to page so you can create hyperlinks in microsoft word you can also set up bookmarks i'll have a separate video on how to create that so these are clickable so if i left click on here it's going to jump to that particular page and i would say that you know there may be times when readers go back to your table of contents to jump to another page but if it's a novel or a chapter book you know, they may just continue reading and it may not really be necessary to have a table of contents. The other alternative is the automatic table of contents in the Kindle app. And the way you would access that is by clicking on this uh, hamburger icon here, these little broken lines. When I click there, you're going to see another table of contents. Now I set up my table of contents here in the Kindle Create app. So I'm a fan of Kindle Create and I have used that a lot to convert my eBooks to the proper format to upload on KDP. I have a separate video on Kindle Create. You can also post a question below, but basically in Kindle Create, you can select a page and then put in a heading and then it will automatically add that to this automatic table of contents. Now let's take a look at another example. I'll return back to my library and this time I'm going to go into another book and this particular book has a table of contents, a static text. The other type of table of contents which is found here can easily be set up to assist the reader to jump to different sections of the book as they're reading it. Let's look at another example. This particular book is one of my most recent books that I've released and it's a short read and I created a table of contents that looks like this. I ended up using the print replica option in Kindle Create which does not preserve the links. However, readers can use the navigational options like these arrows here to move to the different pages or they can take advantage of the automatic table of contents using this hamburger menu that you could find here in the Kindle app. Now I've set up mostly the same topics here that I have in this table of contents static page. Let's look at one more example. Let's look at a novel in this hamburger menu if we look here. 
there is an electronic table of contents that was set up here. So if I did want to jump to say chapter seven here, I could use this electronic table of contents to jump to that particular chapter. Well, that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and smash the like button and remember to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. I'll see you in the next video.